pipe here has been turned, so it's pretty clean. I go ahead and tack this on here. One of the nice things about MIG welding is you literally just point and shoot when you're making a tack. So if you want to, you can start up on one piece while you're holding it firmly, pull the trigger and roll it just a little bit forward and back to help make sure that your tack fuses to both sides of what you're trying to weld. It's literally point and shoot, makes very easy, great way to start out. If you start out with stick, you will probably become a better MIG welder. Not saying that you can't do it either way around, but stick, you've got a little bit more control going on. You've got to strike, start your arc without sticking, and then you gotta maintain a certain feed rate as you burn this up. Because as you burn this, you're gonna to have to keep moving it in as it burns up, as you're, as you're melting it into the base material. And so you're, you're moving this in at the same time as you're moving back, as you're doing your weld, you're moving forward, depending on what kind of weld you're running, overhead, crossways, whatever. So, got this piece of pipe set up. And, let's see, for the TIG, Right. Yeah, let me tack these like that. While I'm tacking these, I've got it set fairly hot. I've got the welder on 110 volt running 20 volts and 200, 220 inches a minute on 035 wire. So there's the tack set up. And then Go ahead and put this thing right here. That'll make for an interesting weld at some point. I'll try not to bump into the camera. terrible looking stuff I mean not for running on 110 volt I, well let me go over here and we'll just run a we'll run some vertical down on this section and then look from here to here Terrible looking. Can't get a better. I don't realize how little light I've got in the shop until I try to show something on the camera. All right, so there's a little bit of MIG done. So I'm running 6011, and I'm gonna go ahead and do 70 amps. On this piece right here. still some flux stuck on the edges there but you can see it's got pretty good little ripple to it burn in a lot I definitely had that too hot for this um, that's not quite as thick as I thought it was if I had two pieces of this 70 inch would probably have been pretty good I could have probably run faster I walked it back I could have probably pushed forward and got a better weld I didn't I did what I did 
in a way, came out pretty good. Um, turned it down to 55 amps. Okay, and then we'll run it back up to 70 amps and do a butt load right here. Burned it out a little bit. All right, that's a 6011 at 55 amps. Uh, laid in all right. A little cold at the top side. That's a 6011 at 70, 71 amps. It was a little hot, started sinking in some, burn out the end, left this nice big old crater. But up here where it started at, didn't do too bad. A little bit of penetration through the backside. I was ran too hot. This is probably ran a little bit cold. Play around for a little bit, you get it all right. Um, about a 6011. Let's do a little bit of 7018 down here. Just a little bit of 7018 and go ahead and finish up the rest of this. 7018, I'm gonna go ahead and max that out at 80 amps. It seems to like the heat. stainless steel this is a, a e308l16 stainless steel stick rod i'm going to turn it down to 60 amps i'm just going to tack it on with this and then run a short bead because the colors are always come out and yes this isn't stainless but it welds pretty well the same on stainless or mild steel just for demonstrative purposes. Run a little bit back this way. Cool. All right, well that cools down. I'll switch this over to TIG. Nothing crazy about it, just scratch start TIG. It means I gotta touch the tungsten down to start the arc. Uh, right now I'm set on 95 amps. See how it goes. Let's do some up here on this other side where uh, I'll clean the metal a little bit more first.
Look at those colors off that stainless steel stick weld. Okay, I went ahead and bumped my efforts up to about 110. Do this again. Did not want to turn off. I should probably put another light right here. Kind of dark. Too bad looking crater at the end there where uh, when I tried to lift off to ter terminate the arc it just didn't want to let's do a second pass of the same area kind of a, a wider weave on this. Now if I thought about it, I would have turned the heat down some. Seeing as how it already welded over this area. It's probably... Filled out pretty good. A little, little on the hot side, like I said, I already run the one pass. right next to it. Now that I've turned the heap about 20 inch down, should be all right. Lay one more on there. All this metal is getting really hot right now. gray side there a lot on the gray side but the weld's smooth and consistent like subscribe if you want to see some more comment what you thought about it uh, you know comment if you want to see something different thanks take it easy